Good to see everyone. Each and every one of us, from the front to the back, we're all dreamers. As a little kid, we become a dreamer. As we get older, we're still that dreamer. You know, like wearing capes on your back when you're like a little kid thinking you were Superman. Or you know, like uh, tearing your car apart and you know you eventually like, begin to be a mechanic, electrical engineer. For me, my house, I was born in a house of a mother. She's a teacher but a singer at night. She singed in the church. I grew up in the church. My father, he's a DJ. Not like the DJ that we know of, you know, like turntables and stuff like that. He's a radio announcer. So hearing different types of music in my house is what changed me. And I was born in a little small city like Jackson, Mississippi. It's called Florence, South Carolina. So I remember um, my mom, my first gig. First gig. My first gig was actually in a church. It was in a church, and my first gig, my mom, she wanted me to play this song. I didn't know it was going to be my first gig. So she would, she would have two pairs of sneakers. It was the Pumas. I don't know if y'all remember Pumas, but I wanted a pair. So she would have them on the side of the pulpit, and she would dangle them, and I had to play. I had to play this song right here. <laughs>
Thank you. I now play this song all over the world. I'm, I play soul music. I grew up playing soul music. Each and every one of you, you are soul artists. So a song like this, I remember playing it in Yokohama, Japan, and after I played it, someone said to me, I've never been to church before. It felt like this is what church should feel like. She said, she said this, and then we ended up playing it for the ambassador in Nicaragua. She loved it, and we ended up playing it the whole tour. We also ended up playing this song in China, maybe about two months ago in Guangzhou. They would tell me all the time, and then we actually had a talk with the translator, because, you know, my Mandarin sucks. Um, <laughs> so, uh, which I hope he said this. He was saying that um, <laughs> his little kid, she played saxophone also, learned this same song as her first song. And I was like, wow. And he was saying the reason why I taught her this song is because this was my first song. So songs like this at an early age, and we're talking about early age learning, it, it gets into your body, it gets into your mind. So anything that I play, it will always have that sound. It will always have that feeling and that emotion like you're in a church, but you're not in a church because it's, it all, it's all connected, soul music, gospel music, and this thing that we know right here in Mississippi called blues music. Y'all know something about blues music? Yeah. Oh, y'all know something about blues music? So I remember coming right here on a Greyhound bus right here in Jackson, Mississippi from Florence, South Carolina. And I looked around and I was like, oh, okay, this is Mississippi, huh? This is Mississippi. My first day wasn't the easiest day at all. It was the first day in the Sonic Boom marching band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little confusing to me because I came here on a jazz scholarship and I was like, man, I got, you know, marching a band? What's going on here? I've been bamboozled. But it was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Being in a marching band not only teaches, you know, one band, one sound, we all know that, we all know that, but it also teaches confidence. It teaches that you can do something in front of one person or a thousand people, the same thing, and you can make it great. It teaches confidence, it teaches pride about something that you know, and you know it, and you've been practicing for years, and you know this same thing. So what I've been doing, I've been taking these same skills that I learned from the marching band, and I actually ended get a ch had a chance to play in many blues bands. You know, Johnny Taylor and all, you know, Wilson Pickett, Dorothy Moore, uh, the great B.B. King, Bobby Blue Bland, on the Chitlin Circuit. Y'all gotta know something about the Chitlin Circuit. <laughs> it's not a circuit where you eat food and it's like a buffet of Chitlins or something like that. <laughs> it's actually a blues circuit. Those places I learned the most. I remember being 17, I had, to stay on the, I had to stay on the RV because I wasn't young and I wasn't old enough to go in the club. So, but when I was in there, I would hear people like Johnny Taylor commanding a crowd, seeing them dance and seeing them doing things. We're gonna try something like this. Y'all gotta clap for me. Mm. Uh-huh. All right. I like that.
Anana. 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 In the back. Anana. 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 Now everybody, clap, clap. Uh huh. Clap. Yeah. Uh huh. Now, what we doing right now is the thing that we can do all over the world right here. It's called soul music, y'all. So one more time, y'all ready for my na na na's? All right. A na 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 na. A na 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 na. A na 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 na. Na 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 na. A na 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 na. A na 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 na. A na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. So the next time you got kids and they want to get some cookies and it's too late to eat cookies, you just say na 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 na. So y'all clap it up for the blues, y'all. That's a little chili circuit thing. The reason why I played that song, because when you walk around the streets of Jackson, Mississippi, it could be any city in Mississippi. It could be in the Delta, but you hear music like this. The first song was actually a Mississippi version of Amazing Grace. So different things that we hear, we hear marching bands every day that we don't even know that we hear. We hear blues every day, things that we don't even know that we hear, but it gets into your soul. It gets into your mind and it gets into your body. So when I started traveling, again, my mother, she's a teacher by day. She's a singer in the church at night. But she also would go to many places to see the sick. We will always sing at the nursing home for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I became like the hip hop version of my mom's kind of sorta. So when I got older, um, I started traveling, combining all the things that I learned right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Going to many schools like Walton Elementary, you know, Brown, different schools like that, dealing with kids that had situations. We all got situations. But we're trying to build a different, different time of learning where we can make it as creative as a stage to show each kid that you don't have to wait till you get 30 years old, 40 years old to be a star right now. You don't have to just be Nicki Minaj. You don't just have to be. We can show them. We can take them from beating on the stage, beating, beating on their desk, to actually making it a beat. Making a beat in a program like Sound, Soundtrap. It's a free program that you can give to kids, and you can show them how to produce. And this may, it may start out small. Maybe they even may produce the new school anthem, the new school song. It may be the one thing, but we're here to inspire. So when I say we, I'm talking about Jakarta, Indonesia, Guangzhou, China. I'm talking like uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm talking like Singapore, because I've touched all of these people, and they've listened to the music, and they was like, wow, this is what Mississippi is? So we're taking these same innovative things that we're learning right here that it's just a byproduct of it. We're taking it and taking it everywhere across the world, and we're trying to innovate it into something that kids can learn. So even if you're learning something very simple like do, re, mi, fa, so. Everyone sing. And? One more time. So, if you had a song like. Stay with me, and we'll take it. Do re mi, do re mi, do re mi, do do. That little thing makes a kid feel proud. It makes a grown kid 
Now they hear this song every day, and now they know how to play it. They can play it. They can play it on a guitar. They can play it on their drums. They can hum it. And now we just taught them theory. I just taught you theory. You didn't even know, because actually it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one. Each and every one of you are now stars. So we're taking this, and the way that we start this, we made a conjunction with Jackson State University. So just as of this week, we have able to finalize funding for a project, building a marching band in Bluefields, Nicaragua. The name of the school, yeah, clap for that. We'll build the culture and the techniques from Jackson State. So we have funding to hire two students from Jackson State University on a two-year program to build the marching band at B Biku University. This is Bluefields International, Bluefields Indian Caribbean University. And this starts at the beginning of 2016. So projects like this, many projects like this are ongoing and we actually get enough funding. Creative, because the one thing that it really does, it combats crime. Crime infested areas, the one thing, if you're playing music, you know, it's kind of hard to do both at the same time. You know, <laughs> mischief, crime, things like this in an area like Nicaragua, Bluefields, Nicaragua. This is the one reason why a program like this has been started. So we'll be developing this starting from the teaching program with other programs. But the one thing we needed was instruments. So now we're in a project trying to fund instruments. But this starts as of 2016 in January, and it wouldn't be possible without anything that I learned right here in Jackson, Mississippi. So I want you to clap it up for Jackson, Mississippi. And we're taking this project not only to Nicaragua, we're going to take it to Honduras. We're going to take it to China in May. We're taking it to Nairobi, Kenya in June. And a good, a good friend, he would say uh, a quote. It said, to understand the world, you must first understand a place like Mississippi. I'm a product of Mississippi. I hope you all had a wonderful time. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Y'all have a good day.